what we're doing uh, with this step is just making sure that uh, we're wet sanding out any dust and uh, maybe uh, uh, hair and fiber particles that are just floating about in the air. Uh, you may have noticed that uh, if you don't put a cover over the model immediately after you paint it, um, it somehow seems to magnetically attract uh, things like dust particles, uh, even small little flying insects. So what we're doing is we're just making sure that none of those are about and just giving this a light coat or a, a light sanding. We want to make sure that we avoid any of the raised areas. On this particular car, the rain gutter um, that's present on all the, the old beetles, um, we want to avoid hitting that because uh, otherwise we'll have to come back and uh, sand down the whole area and re-spray, uh, including down to, well, depending how far, how deep you go, but you'll at least have to do the, uh, the wet coats again uh, with the, with the uh, gloss color. So we're just making sure that we're um, okay in that respect. And uh, this, you might think that the, uh, if you haven't used wet dry sandpaper before, you might think it, it'll just disintegrate, but uh, you can see it's soaking in on the edges, but that's perfectly fine. It's uh, still holding its grit. And now we're gonna come in, um, just make sure everything's nicely wetted down just to get rid of any uh, dust that may have landed on it in the meantime. And then we're going to come in with the polishing stick. Uh, this, on this particular uh, brand, the blue pad is uh, a little bit heavier grain than the white side. So we're just going to uh, just very gently, just circular motions where you can. Because otherwise, if you just do streaks like that, you might end up with a, a, a streak of you know, at worst case, you might take down the, the, the paint down to the primer or even the plastic there. So we're just going to just go over the, the whole car very, very gently in this sort of fashion. Um, if you can't reach into a corner, then it's okay. Just leave it. Um, and again, it's about uh, as much detail as, as you want to put into the car. So if this is uh, more work than you feel is necessary for the the level of detail you want to achieve and that's fine so we're going to go over the whole car with the blue side um, approximately again about 3500 to 4000 grit um, and then go back over it again with the white side and then once we're done with that we'll give it another wash just to remove all the dust uh, and paint particles that are left and and then we'll shoot the clear coat so we're using the same brand that we've used to paint the model with. So um, usually, uh, this is just uh, just standard clear coat, uh, normal painting method that uh, we've used or that we've been using. Um, of course, we're going for a gloss finish here. Just a light mist coat. Um, not extremely light like we did with the uh, the color coat but giving it good coverage we're spraying about 25 psi to get to make sure that we got some good coverage on this so the uh, the wet coat as you can see um, is already starting to make a really big difference um, on these fenders and down, well, the, the left side of the car so far. You can really see the gloss coming up now. So we've got a nice mirror-like finish there already. Now, like I said, you can wet sandpaper this. You can polish it if you want with fine compound polishing compound and then follow that up with a waxing. But at the minimum, you'll probably want to apply a bit of wax on this, at least just to keep dust from collecting on it too much. But there we go. We'll let that dry for at least a day or two. Again, longer if you're using an enamel clear coat. So there we are, pretty happy with that.